Hey, welcome back, sweetness. How did the errands go? Sounds mostly successful. That's good. Thanks for doing all that. You hungry? I'm starving. I'm gonna cook. Does something in particular sound good to you? Hmm. I was leaning towards pretzel chicken. How does that sound? Sweet. I'll make some rice, too. Shouldn't take too long. You sure? You just got home. Don't you want to relax? No, that's great. I love the help. I just wanted to check that you meant it. Oh, I see how it is. You just want to steal my secret recipe. <laughs> you know what? Fine. Steal away. Pretzel chicken should be shared, not hidden. Tell the world about it if you want to. Shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me get this going. Tell you what. You start the rice, I'll make the chicken. But I'll walk you through what I'm doing so you can do it yourself sometime. How's that? Oh, make the rice with broth if you don't mind. Tastes better. I know, I'm brilliant. Okay, before we start, we need to heat the oil in the pan. I like canola, but whatever frying oil floats your boat. Alright, let's let that get hot. Now the chicken. You cool with it if I do white meat cutlets? Awesome. So first, I'm going to put a bunch of pretzels into this big plastic bag and seal it tight. Try to get most of the air out so it doesn't pop. Yep, because now we need to crush the pretzels into tiny bits with a rolling pin. We're making the pretzel breading ourselves. When you do this, crush them as fine as you want them. They stick better when they're crushed pretty fine. Try to avoid any big pretzel chunks. Hmm? Oh yeah, this part's a workout. <laughs> I feel my forearms getting stronger by the second. You know, before I had a rolling pin, I would do this with a baseball bat. Yep. I'd go get the bat from the garage and crush the pretzels with it. Works just as well. Also looks super intimidating. No one messes with a chef carrying a baseball bat. Okay, now I'm gonna pour all these crumbs into a container. I like using the square plastic storage containers that are kind of wide but shallow, you know? Great for coating chicken. Yep. In fact, let's get two of these out. One for the crumbs, one for the egg. The egg is how the crumbs stick to the chicken. What, did you think the pretzel bits just gravitate towards the raw meat and cling there? That would make things so much easier, actually, but... Okay, one egg is probably enough for the two of us. But if I were making this for the whole family, I'd use a couple. Gotta have enough to coat all the chicken. So we beat the egg in the container until it's, well, beaten. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we have our two containers and we have the oil heating up. It's chicken time. Here we go. Yeah, always be careful handling raw chicken, and raw egg for that matter. Someone else no fun. Or, so I'm told. I'd rather not find out firsthand. Cooking lesson with a side of food poisoning? No thanks. Mm-hmm. Wash hands, disinfect surfaces, yada yada. Let's get on this. Oil looks hot enough. So we coat the chicken in the raw egg. And then we roll it around in the pretzel crumbs until it's totally covered. And then we lay it gently into the oil. See? Yeah, some people coat the chicken in flour before the egg, but I never bothered. 
I'm sure that would work just as well, though. I think I'm too lazy to add another step. And another container I'd have to clean. Okay, next piece of chicken. Let's get them all into the oil fairly quickly. There we go. Egg, pretzels, oil. Easy peasy. Once all the chicken is in, we fry it on one side for a few minutes. Then flip and fry the other side. It's not an exact science. Depends on how hot the oil is, how thick the chicken is. I just keep flipping back and forth as the pretzel coating gets golden brown. But to check for doneness, we need the meat thermometer. Yep, in that drawer. Perfect. Chicken should be 165 degrees inside to be safe to eat. Fahrenheit, you goober. We don't do Celsius in these parts. <sighs> Fine. 74 Celsius. Happy. Whatever. You and your easier to use temperature scale. Psh. I bet you do distances in kilometers, too. So weird. <laughs> yeah, the chicken. So when these look close to done, we'll check the temperature. I also like to cut into them and look, just in case. I'm a little paranoid about cooking chicken all the way through. While that's cooking, let me just get some cleanup done here. What? Yeah, of course we have to throw the pretzel bits out. They had both raw egg and raw chicken in them. Oh, you might be strong, but you're not raw chicken strong, sweetness. Do not eat those crumbs. I'm serious. Here, just gimme. These go in the trash. We have more pretzels in the pantry. You can indulge to your heart's content. It's not a waste. We used what we needed. Plenty more where that came from. How's the rice coming? Looking good? Good. Okay then, maybe I should make a salad or something too. You know, something green for health or something. <laughs> you know, I'm a grown-up. I don't have to eat veggies if I don't want to. But I do like salad, so I'm not totally unhealthy. Mm-hmm, you're one to talk. You eat enough sugar most days to choke a rhino. I'm not sure how your blood isn't just simple syrup at this point. <laughs> You're probably right. What vampire could resist you? You're like dessert. Good thing I'm not a vampire. Well, that you know of. Hmm. Thanks for the help making dinner. I do appreciate it. Of course I do. Cooking is fun, but it's always more fun to cook with someone else. As long as you don't get in my way. <laughs> I'm the chef, remember? Don't make me walk around holding the baseball bat again. Alright, let me finish this up. Can you get me a plate and put a couple paper towels on it? When I take the chicken out of the oil, I put it on the paper towel plate to drain the oil away a bit. You don't want soggy chicken, right? Yeah, me neither. Okay. Thanks. Perfect. Hey, sweetness. I love you. Oh, yes. I love you enough to share my pretzel chicken recipe. I mean, it's clearly so super secret. No one else could ever come up with this on their own. <laughs> I know, I just like it. I'm glad you do, too. Hey, you want something to dip your chicken in? Mustard, maybe? Ranch? Yeah, sure, that works. It's tasty on its own, but tastier with something to dip in. Cool. You take care of that, I'll finish this. And after we eat, how about we play a game? Your choice. Hopefully something I have a chance of winning. <laughs> I said a chance. Don't ever let me win. But if I win on my own, well, maybe we can wager on it. Loser does the dishes. Deal? Awesome. Okay, sweetness. Dinner is almost ready. <laughs>